Hey y'all, it's your girl Lindsay here, giving you the tea. But first, I must address, over the past several months, I fell off. I experienced a lot of life that I'm excited to share with you over time. However, in the meantime today, we are going to be talking about becoming a model, what it takes, covering topics like what to do to get prepared, what to look for when applying, how to apply, how to prepare for meetings with agencies, and then some. Before we begin, I need to preface this by saying to do your research. Research is important when breaking into a new industry. You'll want to make sure you know what's common, what's uncommon, and what agencies are the best fit. First things first, you'll want to make sure you have the basics completed before applying. You'll want to make sure you take natural photos of yourself that the modeling industry calls digitals. Digitals are a collection of untouched photos that shows a model's natural look. They act as a blank canvas for agencies to see what you look like in your most natural state. Sometimes you can get booked straight from your digitals, so you'll want to make sure they look good. In these photos, you'll want to wear all black, a form-fitting attire, so black jeans, black top, black heels, or a white tank, black heels, and blue jeans with your hair pulled out of your face. You'll wanna make sure that you take these photos in good natural lighting up against a white background and include some light posing. Agencies mainly wanna see your face and how your body looks in your clothing. For ladies, you'll want to wear a light or corrective makeup, perhaps to naturally hide blemishes, but you definitely don't wanna have a beat face. You'll wanna make sure you get a variety of digitals, close up, full body, waist up, and profile shots. Next thing you'll want to ensure is that you know what kind of model you are. Are you a high fashion model or a commercial model? High fashion models are usually around 5'9", 5'10", and above, while commercial models are usually shorter than 5'9". It's good to know what kind of model you are, so you're not wasting your time applying to agencies that are looking for 5'10 slash high fashion models. I'd also advise new models to get at least one test shoot in with a photographer. A test shoot is a collaborative photo session where models, photographers, and sometimes stylists and hairstylists and makeup artists come together to create new images for the model's portfolio. This allows you to learn how to photograph and helps you to get comfortable in front of the camera. This will also allow you to have something to show the agencies if they ask to see some of your work. One more thing that's important to know as a model are your measurements. It just makes things easier when filling out applications. Now, that's it. You have everything you need to apply to most agencies. And so to apply, you're going to go to models.com, click modeling agencies in the top left corner, filter out your closest city or a city that you're willing to travel to and start applying. Most agencies have their own application. However, there are some who require you to email them. If you need to email them, never fear. I have a blueprint for what you're going to say right here. Pause to read. I have created a template for what to email agencies. If you want the template, click the link in the description for your exclusive template on what to say. You'll also want to be keeping track of all the agencies you're applying to. So I created another template for applying to agencies that you can also access in the description box below. Now that you have applied, you do the hardest part of the process. Wait. But what you're going to do to make this a little easier on yourself is you're going to keep applying and put your focus elsewhere. Try to keep in mind that these agencies have so many people. I'm talking hundreds, if not thousands of people who apply daily. They will eventually get to you, but you cannot focus heavily on it. True story. I have heard of agencies that haven't gotten back to people until like six months later. And that depends on the timing and where they were in submissions by the time you applied. Also, keep in mind that you are worthy of a contract. And even if you have no response, it does not speak to the person or the model you are. Agencies have clients that they have to appease. And oftentimes the decision comes down to, do they already have someone that looks like you? Or are they looking to cast this particular demographic? 
There are all sorts of reasons and you cannot get caught up in that. So try not to take rejection or redirection personal. I was once rejected by 50 agencies. I heard back from a couple, but for the most part, I never heard anything. And of the ones that I did, I got rejected. And that didn't stop me. And now I'm signed to a well-known agency in Chicago. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's say you do get a call back. Well, first, congratulations, Buki. <laughs> this is a great opportunity, but also try to bear in mind that it's merely a callback and a callback does not always mean a contract. And while this is exciting, you got to stay focused. So the agency is calling you back for an interview. In this interview, whether it's in person or over the phone, you're going to want to wear a white tank, blue jeans, and also a white, white gym shoes. And for the ladies, perhaps some light natural makeup. Again, they want to see your natural beauty. Bring your heels just in case they want you to walk and make sure that the heels that you bring are ones you can walk in. This might be something they ask you to do whether you're high fashion or commercial, so it's better to be prepared. Show up to the meeting ready to answer questions like where are you based, what are you looking to do when it comes to modeling, do you want to act, etc. And be sure to come with some questions as well. You should ask questions like who are your clients? How often do you book someone who looks like me? These are good questions that shows your interest. But try to avoid questions that are easy to answer using a Google search. And just give it your best. Be confident. Be yourself. And they should love you. Remember, they're already interested in your look and how you photograph. So just remember to bring along the personality along with the look. And after that, you wait some more and hopefully you hear back. And in the meantime, get some test shoots in. But if you don't, remember, rejection is redirection. Keep your head up and keep applying and you'll eventually land something. For those who do end up getting accepted, stay tuned for a new video titled, So You're a Signed Model on what happens after becoming signed. This is often where the real work begins. Well, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, guys, peace.